Hello guys, this is Raul one more time bringing you another review on one of my GoPro accessories. Um, this time we're going to open the case and review the suction mount. This is a suction mount that you can get for $29.99 at any of the retail stores. Uh, you can find a little cheaper online. This is one of the best well-built suction mounts that I ever encounter. Um, lots of mobility. Look at this. One angle here, one angle here, and you still have lots of mobility out there. Um, you can add more on top. Um, it, it, is, it is just an outstanding way to mount your camera. Try to lose this a little bit. Put your GoPro up. And then be sure that it's well attached. Tied it up, and that's it. Now, remember, you get another angle over here. If you lose this up a little bit, you can go with a GoPro up and down. We're talking just from there, three angles, three different twists that you can do on this. So, once the GoPro is in there, it is not going anywhere. So, you just adjust everything, and the GoPro will stay there. For these video purposes, we're going to try to mount the GoPro and this lowest, the lowest angle that I can so my camera can catch everything. Remember that the suction cup works the best on a flat with a surface with no pores. So we're going to try to do this. This is the way you install this. First of all, when you put it in your car and you mount it outside, please guys, be sure to clean the surface to just try to get all the dirt. Just use a wet uh, napkin or something and some alcohol, rub it. That way it doesn't fall and you don't, um, you don't lose your camera. So what you will do is just put it in the glass then this big button that says press, you will press it and it attach automatically. Then what you will do is just lock it in place. Now you got the camera all locked. Now we're going to be trying to uh, find the right angle. You can extend this mount. So that's the good part of it. So we're going to extend it. This is usually how it goes in my car guys when it goes in the hood. So that way. So let's, uh, let's uh, secure everything. And there you go. I'm gonna test this for you. I'm using a lot of strength to take it out and I really, it's impossible to take it out. It feels so safe. The first couple times that it was in my car, it was really scary uh, because I'm going at 90 miles per hour trying to make some footage on the, on the, on the car and it definitely, it definitely um, raises some fear that the camera is gonna go flying away. So, but uh, I can assure you guys, if you do it in the right way, you won't have that problem. To remove this, of course, what you will do is just put it down, the camera will be losing, then what's going to happen is if you put it all the way down, the press button pops up, and then you have over here the little thingy, and you're going to remove it, and then boom, it gets detached. I put this on my car up to 120 miles per hour, it stayed there rock solid. So remember, as long as you follow the procedure that GoPro is recommending, um, it definitely works, it does what it's supposed to. Um, the angles are great and the, you can add more over here, so it's so versatile that it is almost impossible to compare to anything out there. Definitely a great investment if you guys bought the motor edition, it comes with it, if you guys got the rider, the biker edition or the other editions. It, it doesn't come with it, $29.99, it's a great price for it. Um, you can find it cheaper online again. So guys, definitely recommend you this. Don't hesitate to purchase this, even if you're simple trips, this will definitely pay back itself uh, with, the, with the footage that you can actually deliver. Again guys, this is Raul bringing you another GoPro accessory review. And I hope this helps you out and see you until my next review.